it's fair to say that the humble rim brake holds a dedicated and very vocal following, with many classic rim brake bikes still holding a special place in our hearts. So we thought that we'd have a look at some of the best road race bikes that you can still buy with rim brakes. After all, they're still winning the biggest races in the UK and in some very testing conditions. While those dastardly disc brakes have seemingly added no amount of expense and complexity to road bikes, some of these rim brake bikes could get you out onto the road at a significantly lower price. Our final bike is certainly one that should turn some heads, but which is your favourite from our selection? Let me know in the comments. Right, before we get to our first bike, remember to drop us a like if you want to see more rim brake bikes on the channel and subscribe so that you don't miss them when we do. The perfect place to start is with the CAD Optimo, Cannondale's entry-level road bike option with an alloy frame, dropped seat stays and part internal cable routing. In spite of its racier geometry, the Optimo does have fittings and clearance for mudguards, though with the 25mm Vittoria tyres actually measuring at 26mm, any mudguards will be a tight fit. Cannondale keeps things simple for the end user with a threaded bottom bracket, while the compact crankset and 11 to 30 tooth cassette provides a nice spread of gears. There are four specs with the range topping build equipped with Shimano 105 shifting. That said, the Shimano rim brakes have been swapped out for Tektro R741 dual pivot calipers. That's a common theme on entry level bikes. All in, this would be a brilliant starter road bike that could be upgraded as time goes by. Not bad for £1,300. Ask a cyclist what their first serious road bike was and the chances are they'll tell you it was a Specialized Alley. The Alley has been an incredibly successful model for Specialized and caters for those that still prefer the humble rim brake. One of the reasons that the Alley is so popular is its versatility. Take the Elite model for example. The £1,500 road bike comes with a brilliant alloy frame and a solid SRAM rival 22 speed group set. Some people take this platform with the reliable DT Swiss wheels and then build a capable winter bike making full use of the mudguard mounts. Others might fit a rack making this a lovely long distance commuter. And then some riders just simply keep upgrading it with new parts as the frame clocks up tens of thousands of miles. Giant's TCR model is another stalwart of the cycling world. And while the latest and greatest version of the bike has disc brakes and electronic shifting, Giant still makes the Advance 2, providing an excellent carbon platform for racers and recreational riders alike. If you want to know just how good this rim brake TCR platform can be, look no further than current Ineos Grenadiers pro Josh Tarling. His final year before making the jump to the World Tour was spent aboard a rim brake TCR. Okay, so we can't promise you pro level cycling abilities, but the TCR is certainly a bike that is worthy of some go faster upgrades. The stock build comes with an excellent full carbon frame and fork, a full Shimano 105 group set and tubeless ready wheels and tires. That's a brilliant build for the money. When it comes to off the peg options, few can rival the Merida Sculptura. As with Giant's TCR, the latest model of the Sculptura that the World Tour pros use at the Tour de France has been given the disc brake treatment as well as been touched with the aero brush. But what you get with the Sculptura Rim 400 is perfect simplicity at a price that won't leave you scraping together every penny that you have. The aluminium frame has some brilliant kit on it with a full Shimano 105 group set, a carbon fork, carbon seat post and Marina's own wheels. It's just been discontinued, but seeing as there's still stock of the old bike, we thought we'd keep it in our list. Now, one of the only rim brake frame models that, well, was still offered in 
an alloy and a carbon version was Trex and Monda, with the ALR and SLR frames setting you back between £1,150 or dollars and £3,850 or $3,800 respectively. There's even two geometry options for the carbon SLR model, with Trex H2 fit suiting the majority of recreational riders, while the H1 fit is for those of you that want a super long and low race bike. The Amanda is Trek's climbing bike, so if you're looking to build something for sailing up the climbs, then this would be a great place to start. Modern road bikes might be moving to disc brakes, but if you want the retro look, then rim brakes are required. This classically styled yet modern bike from Bianchi was released in 2015 and is just about still available if you're prepared to do the online legwork. The frame uses double-butted Columbus Zona steel tubing with a one-inch head tube, while the fork is Bianchi's own and features a lovely chrome head finish. The group set comes from Campagnolo, come on, it really couldn't be anything else, and the rims come from Ambrosio. The tubular Montreal model comes as standard with Vittoria Rally tyres, though you can choose the Ambrosio Excellence rims if you'd like to use a clincher setup. It's a stunning build, and if you end up buying one, I will be jealous forever. While Tade Pogaccia now has the latest disc brake only V4 RS, you can still get your hands on the older V3 RS rim brake frame set. It's less than two years since Pogaccia rode his to Tour de France victory, using a full Campagnolo Super Record group set, Bora Ultra wheels, and Dida finishing kit. It was a purist's dream, Campagnolo and Colnago combining to win the biggest race on the calendar. Your average Sunday ride might not finish on the Champs-Élysées, but this bike would certainly be a dream build for fans of the Italian brand. Now, I said that our final bike selection would turn heads, and I hope you're not disappointed by this absolute beauty. I'm a bit of a sucker for shiny things, and if you then paint it in a burnt orange, well, I go a bit weak at the knees. Villiers designed this bike as a tribute to frames that had made it a famous brand. The gorgeous copper colour was first used in the 40s, but the builds that you can have on the Romato are thoroughly modern. To get this frame effect, you have to mirror polish the frame and then fully chrome it. You then add paint with a fully transparent lacquer. That all takes a lot of time, making this a rather expensive bike. But the Campagnolo record build would be an absolute dream to ride, with Campagnolo Chamal alloy wheels and Michelin tyres. If that's not to your taste, then you could always go retro with a set of Ambrosio rims and some super supple tubular tyres. Would this or any of the other bikes that we've talked about in this video tempt you over a disc brake bike? Let me know in the comments below. If you like your bike tech, then why not check out this video up here? But before you do, remember to like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.